Hey peeps, it's Triple L, and now let's talk some random Pokemon Sun and Moon news. And I'm just going to talk about this one because I think it's interesting. So recently, over the couple of days, people have been reporting that they are pretty much being banned from using their online services. They can't really get into the eShop, they can't really use the online of the 3DS in general. And the reason this might be is because Nintendo noticed that these people were going on with their Pokemon Sun and Moon illegal copies. And so, now it's a situation where you have to wonder why did people think it would be okay for them to go online with Pokemon Sun and Moon before the games were released. And there's very there's a lot of reports coming in that uh, the people who are, who are saying that they got banned uh, on various sites like say 4chan, uh, people are making fun of them for getting what they deserve and it's, it's just a really funny situation in general um, You know, I I think people got very overconfident. There were uh, Comment threads that were saying that uh, Nintendo wasn't gonna be able to do anything to them and now it's gone to the situation where People just can't use their 3ds anymore. The 3ds itself is still working But they can't use the internet the eShop is gone they're getting an error code called 0020102 anytime that they attempt to engage in online activities. And that's that's funny, you know, like when we have all these things coming out, the data mining and the leaking, it's, it's you know, it feels kind of nice when someone has this situation occur to them just because, you know, they were technically doing things, you know, they were technically pirating and there are consequences for that. And I think in terms of consequences, this is fair. This is kind of par for the course, you know, I mean, you engaged in it, you should have expected that there would be some kind of penalty if Nintendo felt like pursuing it. But that was the problem, right? We didn't know if Nintendo was actually going to feel like pursuing it. Now, if people are getting banned for playing illegal copies of the game, I imagine there's also the scenario where people who got the game early legitimately, like they bought it, it's just like maybe a retailer broke the street date, they might also be affected by going online. And the only people I can assume would not be affected in all of this are specifically the reviewers. The, the reviewers who have had the game for days, they must have had been able to do some kind of special shenanigan to make sure that they wouldn't get blocked the same way that everyone else did. Or maybe the reviewers were specifically told, don't try to pursue the online too much. Who knows? At the end of the day though, you know, it's still a thing where if you, ha if you know you have something illegally, you should not go out of your way to alert the parent company that you are using it and going online is especially it's like specifically what does that and so you know there is this the kind of level of overconfidence that was created over the couple of days because nintendo was i don't know kind of lax on security and now people are getting hit with it and if your 3ds is getting its services blocked then what do you do can you hack your way around that i don't think the majority of people can do that they might have to just full on get a new 3DS, but I'm not too well aware of how, to what extent people can mess with the system. This time because it seems to be blocking the 3DS's specific address, you know, it's a, it's a bigger question of if people can actually get around that. I, I really doubt it though. So that means people are going to have to get new 3DS's to play some Pokemon Sun and Moon. Anyway, very interesting stuff. It's nice to see that Nintendo does try to do something about their horrible security problem it sucks for the people that got affected but then again you know yeah why well, you know i personally wouldn't have gone that far and assumed that nintendo wouldn't have done anything still it's an interesting situation that's occurred and i'm actually interested in seeing people's reactions to this as we go forward but anyway guys that's pretty much it for this little quick news segment uh, thanks for watching and let me know what you think about this. What do you think about people getting banned because they had illegal copies? Let me know in the comments below and until next time. I hope you have a great day